Who, what, where? What the hell are you doing here? Come on in. Who, what, where? You're back in the closet with me. <laughs> this is all I own. Maybe I'll start over here. Come on. So my first piece is this Noon Goons leather jacket. Hi Kurt and Noon Goons, I love you so much. Noon Goons has outfitted me for a really long time. I feel like my style, I'm always interested in like kind of 50s, 60s, and 90s. Americana, but make it gay. If I feel like I'm too dressed down for something and I just need to like give the girls something crazy, I'll put this on. Okay, so this next one is one of my Peel shirts. I have too many of these. It just reminds me of New York and I wore them on tour, my stand-up tour. But as you can see, there's like some bronzer in there. It's been lived in. It's lived a gorgeous life. So, love you, Peels. You guys are gonna freak for this. <laughs> oh my God, get your seatbelts on. Okay, so this is Prada. I, okay, stop. Literally, are you guys serious? I know, I just like, like to have fun. But I actually got this on Grailed. I have a completely separate life on Grailed. Uh, I'm a completely different person on there. They're a great place if you loved a piece from a collection, just look it up or like put an alert on there and it will come up at some point. I just went back and forth with a little fuck boy on there and eventually we came to a, a fair price on this. There have been a few people who like needed outfits and I knew this shirt would be perfect for them and I did not give it to them. Um, actually, we're just gonna get it out one more time. Holy shit. Okay, so this is my pink Jacquemus suit. This is what I'm gonna wear to your wedding. I saw it and I was like, that's ridiculous. And then I bought it. I have worn each part like separately and they work on their own, but together it'll just take your breath away. Like there are riots in the street when I wear this. This is, this is the final piece. Um, no, so this is my entire world sweatsuit. Entire World just makes the best sweatsuits. It just goes with everything and it's just really chic and it fits beautifully and like, I'm sorry, but I'm going out, I'm getting like soft serve and I put this on. Good night. Are you kidding? You can play with fashion, it doesn't have to be so serious. So this is one of my favorite graphic tees. This is uh, Mr. Jean-Paul Gaultier. It's just really cute and it's like kind of a little like oversized, so just put it on. And I'm just like whimsical. It looks great with jeans, but also if I want to do like a black trouser. Uh oh, she's dressed up. She's ready to go out. She's having fun. I have this like elusive Paris trip I'm going on. No flights booked, but excited for that to happen. Holy ass. Okay, wow, I have so many pieces. I have lived multiple lives. So I used to be a little supreme head a little hype beast, but I love this jacket so much. It still holds up. I'm from Idaho, so, and I played football in high school. So sometimes I like to like pay homage to that time in my life. I think I got in like a really bitter battle with somebody on Grailed over this. Yeah, I, I wish him well, absolutely. And I guess I'll talk about what I'm wearing too. So this is ERL, I love ERL. It's very like California, Venice -y, Americana. It's kind of my favorite. And then these are Margiela. I got these on like sale, sale. Don't tell anyone. So I love like a black trouser. If I'm not wearing jeans or like white pants, I'll do just like a full on like high waisted, like 50s, 60s trouser. And I know you're thinking no way those fit your short legs, but they do. <laughs> they do. These are Casablanca. These just, Kind of elevate anything if I want to take like a chill look and make it a little bit more dressy. Okay, oh wait, there's literally a mask in the back pocket. Wear your masks, Jesus. So these, oh, what's in there? Oh, it's like a sticker, Jesus. Like a gun falls out. I'm like, oh my God, random. These are vintage Levi's. And then the dolls at Levi's, look at what they did. They put drama on there for me. I just love wearing jeans on stage. And they have a seven, any drama seven. Oh my God. Oh, I swear to God, who, what, where, you are too fucking much. I just find that if you're gonna do light denim, it has to be vintage. If they're like new, it just doesn't, they don't feel the same. They're a little starchy, but then they're light. It just, it's weird. Oh, okay, so if I am not wearing like white jeans or blue jeans or black slacks to dinner with your dad, I'll wear these. These are just these beauty chinos from Rowing Blazers and they have ID on the side. Just a little pop of fun. You can have fun with fashion. Seri 
Seriously. I don't love things that are tight. I just feel uncomfortable um, and I don't have fun. Oh my God, yeah, I did have quite a few pairs of skinny jeans. My parents gave me some athletic legs, so they just didn't look quite right on me. Um, but I shout out all the straight guys who are still trying to make them work. Oh my God, this is a good piece. <laughs> everyone's, okay, everyone's freaking out. This is Bodhi. One time I said Bode and this girl, like it ruined her life. This is my Bode shirt. I put this on and this is one of those showstoppers. Like I always get compliments. Maybe I'll wear it tonight. What do you guys say? <laughs> Jesus. I have a lot of costumes. I've done a lot of costumes over the years, but I picked two pieces that are really special to me. This was custom. Brag, what the fuck? This was custom by For Good Luck on Instagram, Olivia. Hi, Olivia, you're the best. She takes vintage 80s wedding dresses and then customizes them. So I wore this for a video for my cancer character, Benita, my Southern Belle. I would say this is another piece when people come over, they put this on um, and it looks better on me. Like, look, it's like see-through. So it like covers my back acne. Okay, wow, this is, there's a lot to talk about for this next piece. This is my Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen. This is the top of it. And oh my God, here are the pants. Christopher Palou, an amazing New York designer. He has been making my Halloween costumes. <laughs> I love saying that. Anyone I'm talking to, I love saying that I get my Halloween costumes made. He made me my Lizzie McGuire igloo dress. He did my Kendall and Kylie Met Gala looks. I love Halloween. As a kid, it was like the one time I felt like I could just be as gay as I am. You want a drama, who, what, where? I'm gonna give it to you. I have these. These are my Demonia boots, my stupid love Gaga boots. I saw them and I just did need them. I made my dad try them on last time he was in town and he almost broke his kneecaps. So um, yeah, these are beauties. I love these. They're very comfortable. Demonia, whatever you're doing, babes, keep it up. Yeah, they just remind me of like Gaga on a Chromatica press tour. And that's the look I'm always going for. So I love that. These are really controversial. They're these square-toed Martine Rose. They were, I think, a collab with Opening Ceremony. Yeah, people just get pissed about square toe. And I'm just like, relax, like you can have fun with fashion. I just slide them on and they kind of always make me look like I'm like in Miami and I'm just like out with friends and I'm just being playful. I love these. So these are my Tom Brown penny loafers. I love Tom Brown, I love these. They're really comfortable. And also again, they kind of like elevate any look. Sometimes if I'm in like jeans and I put these on for dinner, everyone's like, relax, we're heading to dinner, it's chill. And I'm like, seriously, I can do whatever the hell I want. These are my sandals, um, my JW Anderson sandals. Also just like a chill beach sandal. But yeah, I love gold, I'm a gold doll. It's my favorite. Yeah, they're really comfortable too. And these are something that like my sisters will always message me about and be like, I love those, I want those. And I'm like, they're mine. This is random as hell, but I do have the Dubai's. Straight guys go crazy when I wear these. I step out and they run up to me and I'm like, okay, relax, are you serious? It's so embarrassing. I actually got these from a place in Boise, Idaho. That's where I'm from, um, prestige skate shop. Um, they saved these for me. I love you guys. These are if I just wanna like, I have a little white tee on, jeans, and I'm like, I kinda wanna flex. <laughs> She's like, fucking flex. You guys, it's the last item. Don't. <laughs> okay, um, these are Margiela Reeboks. I love these, cause it's like, okay, sometimes I just have my regular Reeboks on. You can tell I keep them like really clean. That's not a usual thing for me, I just want these to be clean. Cause like, these ones are dirty, these ones are clean. Who, what, where, this is the greatest time of my life. This was the greatest day of my life. Thank you for coming back into the closet with me. I missed it. Literally come over whenever you want and try on my wigs and costumes with me. Mwah.